Welcome! In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can scrape data from an infinite scrolling page with a large number of listings. By a large number of listings, I'm referring to websites in which you need to scroll more than 50 times in order to load all of the results. If there are too many results on the website, Parsub may run into memory issues, which is why just scrolling will not be enough. The method we're going to take is to extract the data we're interested in and delete it every time we finish extracting it in order to avoid Parsub running into those memory issues. To begin, click on New Project and enter the URL of the website that you would like to scrape data from. In this case, we'll be using www.behance.net. If you'd like to follow along, you can type in the same URL into your own Parsub client. Click on Start Project on this URL. There are three main areas on the Parsub client. On the left hand side is where we have our commands and our settings. In the middle is the interactive view of the website. At the very bottom is where we'll be able to preview our data in either CSV or JSON. Our first command will be a loop command which allows us to repeat all of the commands nested below it the amount of times that we've specified. To add a loop command, click on the plus sign next to select page go to Advanced and choose a loop command. To specify the number of times you want to repeat this loop, click into the list box here and type in dollar sign, create, array, open parentheses, and enter the number of times you would like your loop to repeat. For example, 500. Next to your loop command, click on the plus sign, go to Advanced and choose an extract command. We're going to call this extract command listing value and we're going to give it a starting value of zero. Next is where we'll select the elements on the page that we would like to scrape. What we want to do is select the full container of our entry and then use relative select commands to select the day that we want to scrape. For example, the name and the owner. Click on the plus sign next to our loop and choose a select command. Hover over any of the entries and in order to zoom out to the whole container we can use a little trick which is to hold down command on Mac or control on Windows and then press 1 until we've zoomed out to the container that we would like to select. Click on this container. It should automatically highlight in green to indicate that it's been selected and highlight other similar containers in yellow. Click on one of the other containers to confirm that you would want to select those as well. These have automatically been named Selection 1, and as you can see, 48 of these entries have been selected, but you can rename this to something more descriptive. For example, Entries. Parsub has automatically added a Begin New Entry command below your Entries command. This ensures that each of the entries on the page has their own scope in JSON or their own row on your CSV file. Parsub automatically added an extract name command which extracts all of the data within each entry, but we could always delete that command and instead use a relative select command for each of the pieces of data that we want to select individually within that container. To do this, click on the plus sign next to begin your entry and entries, choose a relative select command, click on the container, and click on, for example, the title of the gallery. Parsub should automatically select all of the titles associated with each container. This has been named Selection 1, but you could rename that to something more descriptive such as Title. You can repeat this for other information by clicking on the plus sign next to Begin New Entry and Entries, choosing Relative Select command, clicking on the container, and clicking on something different such as the name of the owners. This should automatically select all of the owners as well, but in the case that hasn't done so, you can always click on this container and on this set of owners to confirm that you want to select those as well. There are ways of teaching Parsub how to select the multiple owners that appear below the multiple owners dropdown, but for the sake of simplicity, we won't be doing this on this tutorial. 
To teach Parsep how to remove each entry after we finish scraping it, hover over Select Entries. There is no plus sign at the moment, but if you hold down Shift, a plus sign will appear. Click on the plus sign and choose Extract. We can call this Extract command something like Remove Entry. And here where it says e.txt, we're going to change that e.remove, open parentheses and close parentheses. This command will remove each of the entries after it's finished being scraped. Click on the plus sign next to your loop again, go to Advanced and choose another extract command. We're going to name this listing value once again, but this time instead of setting its value to 0, we're going to set it to 1. Finally, click on the plus sign next to your loop command and scroll down to Advanced and choose a conditional command. This conditional command is going to check if there is a listing value. To do that, just type in if and then listing value. Anything that's below the conditional will execute if the condition is met. In this case, click on the plus sign next to if listing value, choose a select command, and we're going to select the full container around all of the entries. To do this, hover over the entries and hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows and then press 1 until you've zoomed all the way out to the container for all of the results. Click on that container. The container should be highlighted in green and we can call that something more descriptive such as container. Just below our Select and Extract Container command, click on the plus sign, go to Advanced and choose a scroll command. Keep this as a line to bottom and ensure that it repeats one time. Our project is now complete and you can already see it sort of running in action. What it does is 500 times it chooses a listing value, sets it to zero, selects all of your entries, extracts the data you're interested in, removes that entry, adds the listing value if that has been met, and then if it's met, it scrolls down and then repeats this again. This should allow you to scrape all of your data on an infinite scrolling page with a large number of listings. Our Help Center contains this and plenty of other articles that will help you scrape your website. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at helloparsub.com. We're always happy to help. Happy parsing!